Hello, this is Dr. David Bilstrom from the International Autoimmune Institute and the Autoimmune Lifestyle. And this is Did You Know? And we're coming to you today from Harriman State Park. And you see the cow barn from 1922, 98 years, peaks in the distance. Lovely day, we're out snowshoeing. I'm on my split board practicing for the back country coming up here. And we're gonna to talk today about methyl mercury exposure and the development of autoimmune disease, specifically causing subclinical autoimmune disease, which we know is not the case because they're talking about causing a positive anti-nuclear antibody, an ANA, increased risk next 10 years of rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, that. They say subclinical, we say Bilstrom's nucleuritis. It's a disease, we treat it, we reverse it before it gets worse. So here you are with your patient. She's about a 40-year-old female, a couple young children, mother with rheumatoid arthritis. She's got the Hashimoto's. You're going to test her for celiac. You're kind of wondering. And she's been told already that she has a positive ANA. And they go, oh, that's not an autoimmune disease. We'll just wait. And if you start getting rheumatoid arthritis like your mom, well, then we'll give you some medicines that don't really fix the problem. But you're going to educate her. You say, well, actually, ANA, autoimmune or anti-nuclear antibody, that is an autoimmune disease. You're attacking your nuclear material, you're attacking your DNA. It's just not the part of the DNA that they can say, hey, by the way, you got rheumatoid arthritis. Hey, by the way, you got lupus. Hey, by the way, you got Sjogren's. But it's an autoimmune disease because you're attacking your own body part. That's Bilstrom's nucleuritis. We're gonna treat it, we're gonna make it go negative, and then you'll never attack new parts of your DNA. You'll not get the rheumatoid arthritis your mother has. And you tell her a big driver of autoimmune disease is environmental toxicities, lead, mercury, arsenic, cadmium, aluminum, these kind of things, flame retardants, pesticides. And you tell her, did you know that in environmental health perspectives, August 2015, mercury exposure and anti-nuclear antibodies among females of reproductive age in the United States. And what they showed was that methylmercury at low levels considered safe. Now, as a functional medicine, integrated medicine doctor, you tell her that these toxins are so, you should never have these in a the system. There's no safe level. Generally considered safe, obviously are not safe, and we'll touch on this. So it says, generally considered safe was associated with subclinical autoimmunity among reproductive age females, i.e. anti-nuclear antibody. It's not subclinical, that is a disease. Autoantibodies may predate clinical disease by years. Thus, methylmercury exposure may be relevant to future autoimmune disease risk. Methylmercury exposure creates autoimmune disease. You start attacking your own DNA. Anti-nuclear antibodies go, for, go first. You want to identify that as an autoimmune disease and turn around before further future autoimmune disease like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, ankylosing spondylitis, celiac, multiple sclerosis, psoriasis, everyone is the same disease. The autoimmune disease just attacks different body parts. One big disease can attack any body part. Thank you so much. Have a happy holidays here. We'll talk soon. Bye now.